Hello and welcome to Black Desert Online. Today we're doing a tutorial all about trading. Now there's a couple of different things that you need to know before you start trading. And the first one is that you buy at low prices and sell at high prices. It's pretty much as simple as that. Now market prices will change depending on the city. Um, but to transport your items to other cities to make a profit, what you're probably going to want to do is buy a wagon. So I already have a flimsy wagon, uh, here we go, but I'm just going to show you how to buy uh, wagons. So you can get one uh, at most stable keepers, not all of them I don't think, but most of them. So uh, we're just going to buy a farm wagon here, and that will give you a charter. Now I think you can actually build these wagons uh, in some houses, uh, in cities, but I'm not sure about that. You know how you can build um, rafts and ships and stuff at shipyards. But once you've got that, you then have to register your uh, wagon at a stable. So this notice will probably pop up. You just press register emblem. Then you click on your wagon registration. As in right click. And then you enter a name for it. So I'm just going to call it um, farm wagon. Ah, never mind. We have to actually use an underscore if you wanted to use that. You can't put spaces in. There you go, so now we have a farm wagon, and you can see it's quite big, and it can have uh, up to two horses. Now it'll automatically come <coughs> with some horses attached, you can see here, but you can attach yours to, I'm not sure if it makes them faster, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. So you press connect wagon, you right click the wagon you want to connect, and then you connect the horse as well. Now before I do that I'm going to have to check in the horse. So connect wagon, right click the wagon, right click the horse connect. So there you go, I've now got a horse connected. Now if I wanted to I could go to Eastern Gateway and get Prancy connected as well, but for now we're just going to take out the wagon. Just like you would any other match. So here it is, and as you can see this horse on the left here is the default one, and then I've got my main horse on the right. So just press R, or whatever button you've got a key bound to, uh, as if you were to ride a normal mount, and there you go. This is your wagon. Now you can change loads of things on this wagon, like the wheels, um, covers on the top of them, like you can see this person over here has a really royal looking carriage. I think that's probably from the cash shop, but there's loads of different parts that you can make <coughs> at some workbenches and stuff. Uh, in fact, if you go up here... Wagon Part Workshop. There you go, it'll show you where you can build them. So. In Heidel, there's three places it seems. Wagon part workshop, and there you go, you can make uh, wagon wheels, covers, and as you upgrade it, you can make better looking things. So there you go, and you can attach those to wagons. Now that we've got our wagon, we're going to want to buy some things that we can trade. So in Heidel, the trade manager is just up this road. Most towns do have a trade manager, and a lot of uh, gateways and stuff do as well, like central guard camps, uh, the, the eastern gateway, that sort of stuff. Oh. Another thing to note is that when you're riding a wagon, you can't actually reverse, so you're going to have to turn around forwards if you want to go backwards. So the trade manager's over here, so we go up to her, trade, and then <coughs> Here are all the things that she's selling, so cutting edge dwarf tool pack, and she's selling them at 90% of the normal market price. So you can spend one energy energy to check the market prices of the other things, and anything greater than 90% will be netting your profit, as long as you take it there quickly, because the value diminishes the longer you have the item. So you know, over here, 120%, it's all pretty good, you could make a profit off that, but what I've found at the moment is that the central guard camp, there you go, has a really high um, percentage increase, 180%, and they buy them for 5,200 silver, and you buy them for 2,600. That's a pretty big profit. Uh, so we'll take six of those, and that's 15,000 silver. Ah, the distance is too great, so you'll have to move your mount closer to directly place the items in the mount inventory. <coughs> Now, in small corners and stuff, it's actually very awkward to maneuver the wagon, but there you go. Emergency. 
merchant should enjoy large crowds. So what do you want from me? Purchase all. Now it'll show in the bottom right uh, required weight and available weight. So this available weight here is how much I can carry before I become encumbered. And 630 is the available weight uh, that the mount can t that my mount can take. Now depending on how good the wagon is, uh, it'll be a higher weight or lower weight. So I think um, the farm wagon has 14 slots, whereas the shabby one has 6. So there we go. <coughs> and if you saw that message just there, it said, whilst travelling with trade items, you may encounter thieves. Now I think that means that if you go past these red dots, and it might be something completely different, but if you go past these red dots, there's a chance that they'll attack you. So maybe just, you know, be aware of that, just in case. Now, we're on our carriage. <coughs> and you can see it's sort of filled up in the back, um, simulating that it's got stuff in. So F1 to check what's in the inventory, so there we go, we've got cutting edge dwarf tool packs, quite a lot of them, and if you hover over them, it'll show you quite some useful information. So price guarantee uh, for the next 24 hours means that it'll be 100% market price for 24 hours, I think. After those 24 hours, the price will start to diminish and you might be selling at a loss, so make sure you sell them quite quickly. So now I'm just going to fast forward to travelling to the central guard camp, which is just over here. Right, so here we are at the central guard camp, and you're going to want to locate the trade manager, in this case just over here, and you want to park your wagon very close, or just yourself or your horse, because your horse uh, can also just carry stuff by itself. So you go, talk to the trade manager. Now you can see on the right, here is how much money you're going to get. So this, uh, this, is, this here is how much they're buying, uh, buying this item for. 5,491. This is the amount of money you're making, so 2,900, this is the profit that you get from selling the item here. Um, this just means that you've got 100% price guarantee, this will go down if you leave it too long. And this will be the origin city where you bought the trade item from, in this case Heidel. And the market price, uh, market price is 182% higher. And 4% distance bonus, because the further you take these items, the greater the distance bonus will be, and I think you get more money for that as well. So you can also press this bargain button, and it'll use 5 energy to uh, start bargaining, and you can uh, potentially get higher prices for what you're selling. Now I'm probably going to fail this horribly, but basically, oh, no, never mind. But um, you'd get higher prices basically. So you can scroll through all the items here, and you can see I'm making slightly different profits on these items, like uh, a couple of silver parts. There you go. So I have 169,000 silver currently. Uh, just sell all. There you go, 202,000. So out of those six, I made about 3,000 profits. So that's about 18,000 silver <coughs> that I made in a profit, and that took me like five minutes. So it's actually a very nice method if you can get good prices. So that's pretty much it about trading, guys. Um, remember that if you're using a wagon, this does not improve your uh, strength, this stat here. And if you have trade items on you, then your strength will increase as you walk to other areas. This, halfway le through level 1, this has probably uh, been like 20 minutes of me just uh, strength walking, but even a bit longer perhaps. So it does take a while to level up. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for more Black Desert tutorials and videos. Bye!